49ers and Packers as we come to you from Lombardi Avenue. Lambeau Field, the site for today's game. Well, Phil, we've got a terrific matchup at running back. Two of the most dangerous backs in the NFL about to meet, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How do you see it? Well, you know what? It's not always about the quarterback when you talk about NFL games. And, and here's a great example of it today. Uh, the game of football is still about the most physical team wins. And when you have running backs like this, the more physical team will win. First down on the way. Kaepernick with the handoff. And Rajis all over the ball carrier. Taking a look at the offensive starters. Antoine Bolden has been one of the most physical wide receivers in this league for over a decade. He's been physical, he is productive, and I think he has the strongest pair of hands in the NFL when you talk about receivers. Davis tackled down after a gain of 10. Colin Kaepernick under center. Third down and two. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Tackles made. The slant route, it's a timing route where the wide receiver plants his outside foot at five to six yards and catches the football eight yards down the field as he's going across the middle. That's a gain of six. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Gores in the backfield. Single back set. Throwing now to his left. Incomplete. Looking underneath that time. Sam Shields is one of the classic shutdown corners in this league. One of the good stories in the NFL, the fact that he was not drafted. And how about the Green Bay Packers? When you can get a corner who's not even drafted to turn into one of the best in the league, man, that, you're smart, you're fortunate, and lucky. Well, we got the mojo flowing today, don't we? You start out the game, it's early. You pick up a couple first downs, and you think you can't be stopped. First down here after the completion. The 49ers come to the line with an empty backfield. To Crabtree. And Crabtree is brought down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. After the long game, let's see what they do here. We'll go ground. Six up eight here. The 49ers, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens. They can throw it down to the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football right at you if they want to. And that time, they picked up some, some good yards on that run. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. Harris has got it. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down. Offense readying for the snap. Rodgers will have it in the pistol. Gets the handle here. Left side. Willis is there that time for the tackle. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in bunches. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. Second and nine. Brought down after a gain of six. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Now third and four following the run. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Has 
the reception all alone. And that's a gain of 10. Good job by the receiver that time. Get that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Offense lines up here. The Packers are at the line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. Setting the defensive lineups, Justin Smith should be a force in this one as he is every week. Oh, he is. He is. A, he's a hard-working man. There's no doubt about it. Never gives up. That's what he, in his career, he's been a defensive end, defensive tackle, and he does a lot of dirty work for the football team. They better hurry to get the snap. Takes another handoff. They'll mark him at the 46. Lacey is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Lacey lines up in the backfield. The Packers bring in an extra tight end for this play. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job of knowing the situation on the offensive side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The Packers come out in the pistol. The Packers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Rodgers from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Well, when you're playing this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having really good success throwing these slant patterns. Go no ground. Good for only a yard. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Wide receivers are bunched up. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Pass is intercepted. And that's Willis in on the stop. Willis is probably going to go to the sideline and tell him, hey, I got such a good pair of hands after that interception that I should play some tight end. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this. He is one good linebacker. First down here. Offense lines up here. Set up screen to Gore. down right around the 48. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. First down following the long play. Four. To the right side. He's taken down at the 42. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Colin Kaepernick under center. High is handed the football. This is third down. Looking to the right side and throwing. 
Miller's brought down after picking up 14 on the play. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. First down coming up. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. And the give to Frank Gore. That's a gain of 10. First down here after the run. Gore is lined up as the single back. Once again, a running play. try over again on second down. Gore is in the backfield. Setting up screen. Almost intercepted. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Third and nine. Throws the pass. Very nearly intercepted. Whoa, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. And sometimes you just gotta, gotta make a better decision at the quarterback position. The kick is good. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points. But they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. First down here. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. From the shotgun. Eyeing that left side. Rodgers sends it to Lacey. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. Will go no huddle. First and ten. And Rodgers will hand it off. McDonald's all over that offense and brings him down. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. From the gun, Rodgers. Gets away from the pressure, running room, and now Rodgers will give himself up. The Packers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Third down on the way. White's lined up in the slot. Rodgers from the shotgun. Trying to work that left side. Nelson's got it. And a first. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. It's intercepted. That brings the play to an end. Nice job of the defense that time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes. And it led to an interception. They face first down. Kaepernick takes it from the gun. And he takes off. Games 12. The 49ers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. It's first down as they head to the line. Quarters formation here for the defense. Looking to go deep. And it falls 
is incomplete. And that wraps up the first half here at the home of the Cheeseheads. We'll take a quick break at halftime and return shortly for the start of the third quarter. Along with Phil Sims and Danielle Bellini, Jim Nance from Lambeau Field as the second half is about to get underway. They come to the line, and it's first down. Go, go, go. Lacey lines up in the backfield. To the ground. And taken down a yard short of the first. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Offense lines up here. Second down and one. Couldn't get it past the defensive line. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Now, looking at third down. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. the give to John Coon and he's going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down the Packers will take the snap from the 30 throws to the right he steps out you can't always go for it on fourth and short but I like this call they make it the offense executes and they pick up the first down they're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. Handoff made to the outside. Lacey. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. The Packers are giving ground, but if they can make a stop here inside the 10, it'll be interesting to see what happens on fourth down. Yeah, well, listen, the offense has to find a way to score on this play here, get into the end zone, and get back. Touchdown and drawing close. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football, but down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick hitting plays by a big, powerful guy gets it done. Trying to beat the play clock. There is a flag out. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. The Packers for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Mason Crosby ready for the kickoff. will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. The 49ers offense now marches onto the field. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and ten. Set up screen. They tried to fool them with the screen, but it ends up as an incompletion. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. Second and ten. Looking long. Up catch. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Taken down just two yards short of the first. This will be second down. Gores lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Got a flag. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Colin Kaepernick under center. tight end on the field for this one. With drop back. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Second down, even after the completion. Miller's going to get it from the eye. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Four. Middle picks up about five. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Coming up, second down. The 49ers are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Offense lines up here. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Hides there to make the tackle. On the way, third down. Intercepted! In on the stop. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. First down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And that's Willis in on the stop. The Packers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Looking across the middle, and he hauls it in. Well, you get a couple first downs on the drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Watchers will have it in the pistol. The Packers line up in the pistol. That picks up about three. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Time that this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short, and his team must do something in a hurry. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. 
That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Pulls it in. This run goes nowhere. Stop for a loss of four. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Coming up, third down. A huge moment. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. Lacey, right side. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. First down, pressure on every snap now. They come out in the dime package. Two tight ends on the field here. The defense comes out of the dime. Now first and ten. Takes it again. Brought down at the 26. The 49ers call a timeout. They're first. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Adams is lined up now as a slot receiver. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. The Packers snap it up at the 26. He's brought to a halt. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going field and getting the score. The Packers coming to the line still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. This long drive continues. First and ten. Another running play. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. Timeouts called. We're going to step aside and be back in just a moment. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Mounting a serious drive. Second down and six. He's going to get another carry. Bumble. Recovery by the offense. This is an almost must convert scenario. Third down coming up here in the late stages. Yes, that's four down territory, but you don't want to face make or break at this point. Yeah, on the defensive side, now it's time for the coach to do his job. Be aggressive. Call a defense that the offense has not seen so far today. If you do that, I think you'll catch it by surprise. Well, the defense was trying to come up with the big stop there, but the offense is able to keep the chains moving. Well, there's just no panic in the offense when you see what they've done so far here today, Jim. They kept their heads about them, and they just calmly executed that third down play. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. This has been a long drive so far. Running back in motion here. First and goal from the 10. Harris got the toss, secures the football. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. This is the 14th play of this series. Huge play coming up down near the goal line. Slowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Bill, it's third down. They are in four-down territory, and the defense knows that. Yeah, and it, you get a situation like this, Jim, on the defensive side. You need one of your pass rushers to come through and get on that quarterback. Huge play coming up. Offense looking for one more play to make. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. The Packers call for a timeout. They want to talk it over on what should be coming up, the final play of the game. 
And it's good. We are going to overtime. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down on the way. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He'll take the first snap here in overtime. Gets about four yards that time. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Gore is in the backfield. He'll throw it over the middle. Interception! He's stacked up at that point. Pepper's able to show off those great hands and pick it off that pass from the linebacker position. What a job and what a pair of hands. He'll try this one from 47. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Well, Phil, this one ends in overtime with a game-winning field goal. Yeah, it was so exciting, and it's a shame it just came down to this, but a nice drive there at the end to get a chance to kick the field goal, and the kick came through. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.